Dante, he's just sitting there like, okay. I told him about speaking and cutting. You can cut in any Yeah, I'm just listening. You listen, want listen, some listen. conversation. I'm, 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 I'm just giving gas. Lane, you got to let me off. You know, because I got the mic. You know how the comedians say, I got the mic. But anyway, um, tell us about you. Uh, I started on Impact Recruiting Services probably in like 2019. Uh, my oldest daughter, well, I have two daughters that I have custody of since they was like, I think six and four. Uh, so for me to raise them, I raised them the best way I could and that was through sports. Uh, my daughter, her junior year, tore her ACL. So like all her offers kind of like- Who was she playing? Basketball, they played basketball. Wow. They, they kind of like went away. And I used to promote concerts and parties back in the day with like Drew at the Ritz and mm -hmm. Ron Staples at Annie's. So I kind of developed that same concept as far as instead of bringing young Jeezy to the Ritz, I took my daughter to a college. So my daughter was the artist, the college was the venue or vice versa. Mm -hmm. And the performance was her working out in front of the college coaches. Okay. And it just developed and developed and then she ended up recovering player senior year. Both my daughters went to Wentwoods. Uh, getting a few offers uh, to Char Charleston University, but she ended up going to like Lane, which is an HBCU. As long as she got into school, I right, was fine with that. Right, right. And a lot of people took notice because we started putting stuff on social media and asking and asking and asking. So I just started like helping kids, period. Mm -hmm. uh, my youngest right now, she's a senior at Wayne Woods, and she uh, just got a scholarship to Fisk University, HBCU. Okay. So I figure since 2019 to like right now, I probably help in every sport about like 70 to 80 some kids get like academic and athletic scholarships. No, that's awesome. Yeah. So like I said, I, I just turned it into a, it was a passion basically because of sports, because I play sports, but it, it, it's turning into a business and it's. And it's a great business because I'm actually helping kids. Mm -hmm. okay. And it's, a, it's on impact. On recruiting. impact recruiting service. And that's what I mean. What's the definition of it again? Because what is it? Uh, it's a recruiting service to help you know kids get into school. Like a lot of parents don't know, right. a lot of coaches don't know. Right. I try to help the ones that needs the help. Like your top D one kids, they don't need me. Mm -hmm. But the ones that just don't know or can't get the recognition or the coaches don't know who they are. I, I'm the one that bridged that gap with that. And what are D1 kids? A D1 kid is a power five kid like Kelsey Mitchell. I don't know if y'all remember her. She played mm -hmm. at Princeton. Yeah. I mean, she was a, a five-star kid, played right. on the circuit. Like, mm -hmm. she didn't need no help. I mean, she needed help doing what she was doing, but she everybody knew her. Right. Like, the top kid right now in Ohio is, is at uh, Mount Notre Dame, M&D, KK Bradford. Mm -hmm. Like, she don't need me. Everybody knows. Anybody that if they know if they're name brand. Right. But you're you're speaking of ones that are doing well, but right. they're not being recognized. Right. Because they're they're they either don't know or the coaches don't know or they they just don't know. I'm the one that bridged that gap for mm -hmm. like the academic side and the athletic side. Mm -hmm. You know, I help out with training, help out with like taking them on college visits, getting them exposure, you know, we just do everything on impact recruiting service. Okay, so I'm about to do this devil's advocate again. Okay. <laughs> okay, you know, you have your well-known names that are out there, right? Just what you just said. Right. You know, if you're well-known name, you shoot three-pointers and being a star, <laughs> uh -huh. you don't need the help that you are speaking of. For the most but, part, no. But if you have, a, say, another student or person that's on there, and they're playing well, you know, they're playing well. So they're being, and I know what you said, the coaches don't know what this is. They know. They know. I, I'm not giving that. I'm not giving that. That pass, they know, they know, but they don't shine. They don't shine like this person does. Correct. So they'll put all the energy in that one, and plus it looks good on them, right? right. Okay, let's just keep it one hundred. Yeah, it's, it's easy to ride the coach. Right. The so the ones that are just as good are, you know, some of them might even be better. It's just that their name recognition is showed out more for some reason. Or let's keep it one hundred. Their family, their connections. And that's probably what it the is. Support. It's, connections. It's the connections. Mm -hmm. And that's where I think that our, our, our youth, as well as, you know, we have older adults now that wish they had the opportunity. Right. Right? But because they didn't know Tom, Dick, and Harry, and Susie Q on the mountain, they didn't go anywhere. Right. But they were good. Right? right. Yeah, if you're not in that buddy-buddy so, system. The buddy-buddy. Buddy, and that's the real. And yeah. I would say that to our, um, our, our youth, our young adults. You know, that is what's so discouraging. That's why I think 
that we have so many uh, young people or youth or young adults that just give up. Yeah, you know, I'm not going to win. It's just like me, okay, like I do, you know, theater. I perform, right? Okay. So it's just like you go audition for something. And I went to many auditions. You know, you go to audition, but somebody will walk in and everybody knows them. Hi, how you doing? Today? And they get the part. Right. You know, because they know. Right. That I'm not, I, you know, no, I don't know Susan Q. P. You know what? I just met them today, right. you know, right? That inner circle, you're right. And, and that's what I think so many of our young adults and our youth and our older adults that, you know, want it to be. You know, but then they can't encourage their children that they see a star in. Because, oh, well, we don't know nobody. Right. So it sounds like it's up to the parents to uh, seek you out and to be able to use your services because the kids wouldn't know to right. call you, right? So well, they how would do people invite, know? You know, social media is everywhere. Like mm -hmm. we're on, we're on uh, Twitter, Facebook, uh, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube. Uh, we have our own website. Uh, I actually work at CPS. As a, like a long-term sub mm -hmm. at a dater in Westside, and I also coach girls sports, mm -hmm. and then I'm also involved with a, a AAU travel organization, Phenom. It's a, it's a yeah. girls basketball mm -hmm. group. Okay, so like we're around, and I mean, if you want to play or you want to be seen or heard or known, I mean, we're out there. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you gotta just ask for help. Mm -hmm. So yes, he did just. See the word? Get down to the goodie. <laughs> so, so, are you on Keyspot? <laughs> I think you need to be on Keyspot. Yeah. Uh, that's okay. right, yeah. Because she has the app. Well, look. I'm talking for you. But she has the app, yeah. uh, Keyspot, that gets your information out there. Because exactly. I understand what you're saying. Um, they just need to ask. or they need to... Some people don't have the... That's my word. Um, well, I'm just going to put it out there. Some people <laughs> don't think like that, right, you know? Right. It's, um, what? Get on what? You know, oh, I can get on there on the phone and check out who called and who texts me and whatever, right. you know, or look at the game. Right. But I don't, do you know what you well, I got to research, I got to do this, I got to do that. Well, I think the kids should research, not when they 19, 11, 12. Right, right. and right. they don't have the funding to pay for it. Right, so, and then they come yeah. up the funding. That's the other thing. Oh, that's going to cost you. Well, we yeah, ain't got this, that. This is what I tell people. You know, just to throw a price out there, say I charge two hundred dollars. I say two hundred dollars can save you one hundred forty thousand mm -hmm. dollars. It's just all about the investment. Yeah, and, and I, you, you need to invest in your child. That's right, mm -hmm. and that's why we need to invest in sharing your information on Keyspot. <laughs> yeah. So the Keyspot mobile app is all about connecting the community and supporting small businesses like yourself. And okay. what we yeah. do is we put your information out there. We do a spotlight article on you. Okay. We allow people to, to see who you are. We do social media on you as well. Mm -hmm. And then with that app, they could be able to get alert about you and be able to know what you are up to and share it with other people okay. who have who need your services. We'll, so. we'll get them. I'll get them added because I'm like the admin on that side. Um, oh, okay. So I'll get him. And that's the same, but you know, as you say, he's there. out there. You so know, we'll talk about it. Yeah, well, I'm, you know, out there. And I'm right a little faster with that. You know, we, 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 <laughs> we, you know, here we have uh, where we help with uh, advertising. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. To get your, your name out there. You know, it's a, a, a $8 a mention. Okay. Right? I'm all about so, promotion. Well, no, yeah, I'm just right. saying no. things like that so you can utilize that. Right. You know, no, where, you know, I can help you with that. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's just a thing. What you're talking about is I see so many. We talk about what's going on with our youth. Why? Mm -hmm. did, because they have nothing. They're not being taught anything, and if their if their parents or whoever or whoever's uh, 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 helping them or doing anything for them or teachers that don't know, if nobody's telling them or teaching them, mm -hmm. and get it, you know we know research. If you would you want your child to research, my thing is sit by him on the computer or whatever it is. You sit with him and you to research. Oh, yeah. Don't send your child in there and say, "Do you know what you look? You need to look. I heard you need to look up this." Right. They're like, "Well, how do I?" Just look it up. You know more about the computer than me. Do it. Yeah. yeah. You know more. It's just right. like the kids, uh, the kids being at home uh, doing schooling. You know, <laughs> right. and the teacher going, "Did you just put your phone on? Did you just put it on milk? Huh? Did you just put it on milk? <laughs> I got a little bathroom. They done went and got a snack, got a sandwich, went outside, came back, went outside, outside talked to people, came back and said, and where you been? <laughs> oh, I had to use the bathroom. Okay, I'm just saying. Right. I understand. You know what I'm saying? And if your mentality as a parent guidance or whoever is not there. Then why do we put it on our children or you to be there? Right. Well, when I do my recruiting service, I, I talk to the parents first. Mm -hmm. And I say, y'all got to be involved just as much as the kid. Because y'all their manager before they ever receive to be right. to get a manager. Mm -hmm. Like, 
you know, a little funny story. Like my youngest daughter, she went on the road with my oldest daughter. So by the time she made her decision, we visited like 34 colleges. Mm -hmm. But she already knew where she was going after like the eighth one. I said, nah, just let's just see every one and what they got to offer. And like I said, that's when she chose uh, she chose Fisk mm -hmm. University. Mm -hmm. So like you know, also like uh, we're doing a, a showcase for seniors. You know, trying to get them more exposure, mm -hmm. trying to get uh, college coaches to come out either live or on uh, virtual, mm -hmm. virtual mm -hmm. uh, March twentieth. Now you say you're doing something for the seniors, Sen I, like I, a senior basketball showcase, like okay, unsigned so seniors. Uh, it's basketball for unsigned seniors. No, because this this year really hurt them and last year because your junior oh, right. year is your most important year. Right. So a lot of you know activities and events didn't happen. So and then this school year started, how it went, basketball season. You never know a game could get canceled because of COVID. Right. So March 20th, everything will be over. So we're doing an unsigned senior showcase. What everything will be over? Basketball season. Well, oh, sure. okay. School ball, basically. Oh, it will be okay. over. So, like, right after that, before everybody get discombobulated or this and that, I want to bring all the unsigned seniors together, you know, throw a showcase, have college coaches come, evaluate it. Now, is this going to be a physical thing, or is it going to be virtual? No, I mean, it's a basketball this? showcase tournament. Like, okay, so they'll actually be there. Yeah, they'll actually be in there playing. Mm -hmm. You know, they... We should be approved for it. Everything should be okay. So we're going to have social distancing? Yes, yes. Well, I don't, no parents can even come. It's okay. just the players. Mm -hmm. Are they going to take COVID tests or anything prior to playing? Uh, I don't know if they have to do that, but I know we have to do the uh, temperature, temperature and, 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 and sound waivers and all that. Mm -hmm. So they put no, no parents? No, because they want to do social distancing. Mm -hmm. um, if there is parents, they probably have to be like one or two. At the yeah, because there's parents at, at the one. games now. So yeah. they're, they're allowed to have two at the game now. They're allowed to have two, but like some... It all depend on what we have that and what we're doing. Okay. I mean, we gotta follow their rules. My so biggest thing is right. My biggest thing. I just want the seniors to get some exposure okay. from the coaches, okay. in person or virtual. Okay. Mm -hmm. So do you um, do you support and help kids at every level, or do you only focus on ones who have potential when it comes to like recruitment or moving to the next level? No, we we, we help on every level because I can't determine if this kid right here is going to turn into that kid right there. So I just try to guide them, nurture them, give them as much much knowledge as, as I could to make the process easier so they don't go through the bumps and bruises like a lot of people go through because they don't know. Like, I have the knowledge. Like, I really do. And I have a certain formula that, that really works. And I've seen it with my own two daughters plus the other 80-something kids I got in the school. Wonderful. You know what this reminds me of? Y'all seen Jerry Maguire, right? right. Yeah. <laughs> That's what this reminds me of. Like you're that sports uh, person, the sports agent, yeah. Right. But for the the youth, right? Yeah. Oh. That's what yeah. it really is. Oh, show me the money. Yeah, uh, show me the money. <laughs> uh, what age do you start at? A grade level do you start at? I mean, it just all depends. I don't want to start when they third and fourth grade. Have fun, because right. right. you never know what's going to happen. But once you start getting to like. Sixth, seventh, eighth grade, mm -hmm. like they really reach back that far in recruiting. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. I don't know if it's good or bad, but I mean, are you just looking to help local or are you do you out no, of state or? I, I mean, I'm worldwide, but mm -hmm. when I first started it, it was mainly the inner city kids mm -hmm. that needs the help mm -hmm. in Cincinnati. They, yes, in Cincinnati, okay. but inner city anywhere. But by me being from Cincinnati, my base is here. Okay. And by me being employed with you know uh, CPS. Most of the kids I deal with are CPS kids. Okay. But them the ones that can't always afford, like somebody said earlier, to play AAU. Mm -hmm. I mean, because it costs. Mm -hmm. You know, or the parents can't get them to and from practice. You know, so like like I said, the organization that I'm with Fee now, we try to make a way. Like I remember like two years ago, my daughter team, none of the parents could make it. And we was in Indianapolis and Louisville for 10 days. Mm -hmm. I made sure the girls had hotel rooms and I slept in my van for 10 days. Wow. Just to make sure her team was there to play. How do you fund your organization? Say it again. How do you fund your organization? Uh, parents, sponsors, okay. you know, people just donate. Okay, great. You know, things like that. Some like sometimes we have to scholarship kids in and make it work because okay. we don't want the kid to miss out just because, you know. How long did you say you've been doing this? I've been. Huh? 2019, but I always been doing stuff. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. out in my head, officially 2019 with my oldest daughter. Mm -hmm. 
Now, do you uh, have a website or something that you can connect with? Yes, uh, or phone number? I, my phone. Well, my phone number is uh, 513-602-7289. Uh, our website is on impactrecruitingservices.org. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go ahead and repeat that. On impact recruiting services org. The name of the organization. Yes. Yeah. What was the phone number? Five one three six zero two seven two eight nine. And did they just look up under your name? Yes. What's your name? Dante Payne. Okay. Well, Mr. Payne, yeah, I just you know because other people, you know how we listen, we don't you listen. Know, I feel you. <laughs> right. I understand. You so that's why you know, and that's what it's all about. You know, as far as uh, with WAIF and especially with I hear you, I, you know, one thing is to get your information out there in the community, I'm and I want you to. Say what it is that you're doing, so people, because you know people be driving and be like, what, what? They have you right? right, right. And I heard something the other day mm -hmm. on I've done it before. one of the stations. I can't remember what what it was, right. you know. So that's mm -hmm. the one thing of importance that I'm not that I'm wanting to push, but no, the key no, spot yes. because she's definitely on okay. it. And people are recognizing what she does. She's got people mm -hmm. from other countries as all well over. that comes in. So okay. all, all over. over the country. And then there's connections. She has, that's one thing, you know, what I hear you, I try to connect. Mm -hmm. So the thing is, you know, you to connect, because if you're doing something, it's all about the youth. Yeah. It's all about helping our young adults as well as our older adults. You know, you can build some self-esteem in an older adult. Yes, you can. Do that child. Like, dang, I wish that was happening. But you know what? I'm going to put my energy into this. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, and people could be looking for, you know, that service. Right. You know, that's on her, the people that are on her platform. Mm -hmm. So that'd be great. So is it still free to sign up? Yes, it is. Or is that, okay. So you can register for okay. free by going to www.keyspotapp.com slash free. Okay. Okay. And that's how you can register your business information. We're really here to support small businesses, minority businesses, black-owned businesses. So if you have one, go to keyspotapp.com slash free. And we also have a great event coming up next Thursday. Um, that's January the 21st, 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, where we have a networking. So it's a free networking for you to share your information with other people. Plus, you'll be able to learn about some business tips as well. So go ahead and go to uh, Eventbrite and Keyspot, and you can go ahead and register on that. It's virtual. It's okay. virtual. So we'll have people all over the but, country. But uh, you know, we're doing virtual right now, and y'all right there. So <laughs> yes, I think that should be a deal. That it should be settled right now. You ain't got to I, well, I, you I, I go agree, on the website, Dante, but that be the website's right. sitting right there. <laughs> right. And there you go. That's the connection. <laughs> and then I'm here with WIL. So you want to do that eight? You know, mentions. Hey, we got you. I can meet you every month. Okay. Once a month, twice a month, whatever. Okay. All right, everybody. You know, you know, you know, you can call here if you have any thoughts or opinions or you actually are listening and absorbing. You can call us here at 513-961-8900. That's 513-961-8900. And just, you know, say what you got to say. Make it simple. Don't make it long because you know how you can get winded. I'm winded, but you know, hey, I'm right here. But, all right, everybody, you just need to stay alert. And, you know, it's all about the kids, so... If anything could be done, we can do it. Because, you know, like I always say, we never would have made it. We never would have made it. And we have. And you can do the same with your loved ones and your children. All right? We can make it together. Yes, Lord.